Last night, I got second. Brainstorm, along with Rising Sun, will be going to New York City, representing Seattle for the 2008 National Championship. Yeah. I get back in and I gotta go up against uh, Keddy Mack. He played a West Coast beat that was pretty good but it didn't have any change-ups. So I was like, man, I got it, because I knew that I had a beat that was either equal or better than his that had change-ups, played the beat, people were loving it. Get a good look. <laughs> I look like Zab Judah, and I will knock you out. My, my boy's over here, it's my son. If my son dances to the beat, that's, that's how I definitely not know it's a hot beat. Little kids, playing music, they do not lie, I'm telling you. This is my wife here. Um, say hello to the camera, Lena. Hey. When you got a family and a wife, you have to give them some sort of time. I'm like, okay, gotta get home. My wife's gonna be home at this time. I, I, this will give me a straight hour of just making beats. See, he's, he's gonna be a producer. Look at that. I might, have to, I might have to be in a battle against him in a while, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I typically don't really do drums first. I would probably try to find a melody. I like study some chords or whatever, because everybody can just make beats. You know, people who make beats, dime a dozen. But if you can actually play chords, it makes you more valuable. This is my father, he passed away in 06. Um, he was in a band, he was a musician, he actually played the drums. He knew Jimi Hendrix. And I know in his heart he wanted me to do music too. That's why he was showing me this stuff, because he had such a deep love for the music. I think he would be like, yeah, it's, it, 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 all, it all paid off, you know what I'm saying? It all paid off, I'm proud of you, son. I think you would definitely say that. It's important to have family around you to, to, to really have people who care about you, because if you don't got that, then like, man, you don't really got nothing. You like that one? Uh, so right now, man, we're just making our way through, just checking out some of the new music. I usually don't like to sample anything that's like too known. Like you don't want to sample like the Beatles. To me, when you sample, it's about do it's about taking a particular part that's raw and making it your own. I would never take 20 seconds of a sample, you know what I'm but saying? It's unauthentic though when you take 20 seconds. Exactly. Yeah, at that point you're yeah. just you're just taking somebody else's music and putting some drums behind it and calling it yours. Right now, man, we're at uh, Cary Park. Sometimes I come here and just take a look and just kind of reflect. To my left, this is LaRue. On my right, Fidelity. We go down and we record at Vitamin D Studio, man, you know. It's a good, it's a good quality studio. We can go down there and check it out and see what we can get knocked out. Grown man grind, I'm a grown man grizzly, grown man hustle, grown man get it till it's grown man double, I'm a grown man, I'm a grown man grind. Hey, so you're going all the way through on, uh, into the chorus of, off of your verse? You're not, you're not separating it? I was just going with it. Just going with it? I can dig it. Balancing the uh, family life and actually being a producer, I would say it's, it's sometimes difficult because with anything, if you want to be great at it, it takes so much time and effort.